so then I'm gonna schedule it for it to go up for you guys I am like on time with videos um, so yeah today is actually the 21st of July and just to prove my point is there anything that I should not be showing on here? Here, let me just do it on my phone. I was using the calendar on my computer, but there's just so many like personal things on there that I just like, I'm like, nah. But here you can see it is the 21st of July. So I'm actually about to go to Target because I have ran out of ink in my black pens. Before you leave that apartment, you better freaking fix that shirt first, girl and I need new pens like I have been journaling so much it has helped me through this time more than you know more than you know I everything about journaling is not only therapeutic but it's satisfying sometimes it could be hard but it's just like worth it so I need new pens so I can continue journaling because that is very very important to me it's also important that you fix your damn shirt Y'all, I just got back from Target and you'll never believe I forgot not only my phone, my camera, my purse. That is a rarity for me. Um, <laughs> that's weird. I like, okay, forgetting my camera, that's understandable. But forgetting my phone, <laughs> my phone's attached to me constantly. So I do have a little Target haul. First thing I got is the Papermate Inkjoy Gel uh, black pens. So I can get to journaling again. My last black pen literally ran out of ink. Middle of a word last night. I was so sad. <laughs> I also got some putty blush. I love a blush moment. I'm wearing a little bit right now. I'm wearing NYX. Um, but I wanted to try this e.l.f. one. And this is in the color Bora Bora. So, just saying. I also got my favorite eyeliner. A lot of people ask, what's your favorite eyeliner? It is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, jet black. It's what I wear literally every day. Besides, not right now because I'm doing like a purple, like a dark purple moment. I don't know if you guys can tell. And as I was in the journals, I saw these cuties. Daily chirps with this cute little bird like look how adorable but then this one it says stay golden look how adorable that doggo is so yeah i've been journaling a lot so i make use of all my journals don't be getting mad okay you guys so i've completed another wannabe lego it's like a retro phone moment and here is the little phone device isn't it so cute oh my god i just am having the time of my life and i'm already starting another one yes i am like these wannabe legos are definitely so much cheaper than the actual lego brand like i can complete five of these turkey and cranberry sauce like all of that i would just correlate that as oh you only have it like one time a year and i felt the same way about these crackers and then i think i was like 17 i'm just like walking in the cracker aisle it was very rare that i was at a grocery store i'll tell you that and i saw these and it was like in the middle of summer and i was like oh, oh. <laughs> i was shocked for sure these little guys so good so freaking good and i feel like for 12 that's a lot of cracker I had three before I started filming. Okay, so I want to go through my dishes and stuff because a lot of them I'm not keeping. And there was stuff up there, couldn't reach them. But my lovely ex-girlfriend, <laughs> my friend Feline, oh, that's hard to say. Um, she got this stuff down. These were in here. I forgot I even have these plates. Like what? We're way up there. But since I am overly short, I could not see them, cannot reach them. Like, this is me standing straight. Like, that is what I see at eye level. <laughs> like, that's how short I am. So, yeah. I'm about to go through these. Um, I don't want to go through everything right now. But I do want to go through my mugs. So, I'm going to do that. I honestly don't know what dish set I plan on keeping. So, 
we'll see um so i don't know what i want to do with those yet so i'm gonna get rid of this this guy which i've literally had for forever but i don't like it's just gonna be me like a single pringle living on her own i don't need all this um so i'm gonna get rid of this one i love ariel um she's actually my favorite princess but uh, i think i'm gonna get rid of it i love this cup so much has a cute little dog on it, so I'm gonna keep it. I also really enjoy this mug because I like to use it for like chilies or soups, so I'm gonna keep it. So for now, these are the last two I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna keep or get rid of. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep both. This one has um, a kitty cat all over it, it's so cute. And then this one has a llama, and then on the inside of it, it says llama, get right to it. <laughs> so I just think these are adorable, so keeping those. Okay, so my eye, this one, is so red and irritated. I don't know if it's from the makeup, but we're taking it off. So I'm taking my makeup off literally way before I normally would. I really want to start wearing makeup again um, in my videos because I feel like crap. So <laughs> I don't want to also look like crap. I think that's why like after my breakups I start wearing makeup more and stuff because I just feel so sad. Like I always feel like I lose a little bit of self worth. Any that was like left to begin with to be honest. And everyone always says you know when you're hurting give yourself self love. And my version of self love goes from building Legos to taking walks outside, which I took one earlier, to wearing more makeup. Washing your hair more than you usually would. Hi. <laughs> My eye has been scratching or itching and I've been scratching it. She was so red earlier, I don't know if she still is. I was petting on wasabi and I am allergic to my cats, so that's probably what it is, honestly. But anyways, I still wanna do the popsicle sticks, which has 56 questions. I've already answered two because you guys did take the time to ask these questions. I took the time to pick them out, write them all down and all that. And I just think it's a fun concept. So I do want to answer all of them. Obviously not all right now, but eventually I do want to answer them all. And then maybe we could like get 56 more questions and it could be like a fun little game or like a fun little section in my video. And maybe I could add more than 56. Maybe we could do a hundred. I'm just kidding. Okay. So let's do one. Number 30, three zero, put her in there. Okay, so question 30 is, do you think you have binge eating disorder again? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I have been binging. So I was told when I was an outpatient that you can binge and not have binge eating disorder that there are people out there without the disorder who do binge. That's like only if you binge a couple times a year. Um, but if you're doing it a couple times a week, then that's when there's definitely an issue. And for me, it's been happening a lot. Uh, probably the worst my food intake has been in a very, very long time. I almost want to say worse than it's been in a couple of years. Hey guys, so I'm getting so tired, but I wanted to just do a really quick P.O. box. So someone sent me a whole like braille book. Like this is all braille. And I know I'm 32. I have never seen or felt braille in my life ever. And um, I'm starting to actually screen all of my P.O. box because I recently had multiple Amazon packages that were like massive and heavy, just full of like sweet cakes. Like I'm talking like I've received at least a hundred like boxes, like this size, like boxes of like Debbie snack cakes and stuff like that. Like it's insane. 
So I have been trying to open my packages as soon as I get them so I can screen them, go through them. Feline helps with that still. If she notices something, even before I do, that'll like trigger me or, you know, upset me or whatever, she'll throw it off. I mean, she'll throw it away. <laughs> um, so I already opened these things. It was actually yesterday, but I wanted to shout you guys out. And when I opened this, I don't know what it was, but I cried. I did. I like sat there and I felt it and it's just, it's powerful um, for many reasons. I don't really want to like get into it, but the story is called My Name is Maria Isabel by Alma Flor Ada, author of Dance. I am low-key obsessed. Like what? Yeah, I love this. So this is like a new brand that I really like. Um, I'm not remembering the brand right now, but... They do a bunch of like car ones. I'm not a car girly, like I'm not. But I guess when it comes to like building cars, I'm kind of obsessed. Like look how awesome. It was hard, um, it was funky, it was fresh, but I loved it. <laughs> so I was literally on my way to my doctor's appointment when my doctor's office called and said, oh, we have to cancel your appointment. Ma'am, it could have happened before we left but the thing is we do have a few more errands to run um so it's okay we would have been out anyways but like my goodness 15 minutes before my actual appointment they're gonna call and cancel a little frustrating i do love my doctor though so it has nothing to do with my doctor but it is frustrating because like i don't know 15 minutes before and i've had this appointment for like two weeks now so i'm just like girl Hello, hello. So I ordered some food. I ordered Shake Shack and um, I got some fries with some cheese on top. The cheese is kind of skimping, it looks like. So good. And then I got a well done burger. with just onion and cheese. Mm -hmm. And then with this 100% biodegradable straw, I got some Diet Coke, as per usual. I have a hamburger on my face. Hey you guys, <laughs> so I feel like you guys have been just seeing me sit here because that's reality that's a reality um yeah uh i'm a mess i'm a freaking mess and i'm just putting it extremely lightly i'm just a mess <laughs> i realized a few days ago that this isn't mutual anymore <laughs> not at all um, I would give anything to be with Feline again. Anything. Like, I would have our worst day over every single day for the rest of my life if that meant I got to spend it with her. On my end, I made a mistake. I made a mistake breaking up with her. And, uh... I'm not sure she feels the same. So it's just been like a whole level of just like pain. And a lot of people were just so dead set on it, like not being mutual and it like totally was in the beginning. And it's totally not now. And I think that's like really freaking hard for my like brain to absorb because she just means the world to me, the actual world to me. And I just feel so lost. And I just, all over my finger was like hanging off, dangling off. Ain't no dangling ankles, damn dangling mascara. I am on my computer right now. We're gonna do Weight Watchers. I am going to join Weight Watchers because it's all I know. <laughs> it's all I know. And um, it's better than nothing. Like, I truly have to be doing something. I have to figure it out. Um, okay, join now. 
Yay, Cyber Summer Sale, hurry, offer ends today, 60% off. First month free with code CYBER, okay. So I could do like a six months moment. <laughs> I LOL because it's like, how many times have I done this? Like truly, how many times have I done this? Um, for only $10 a month, we could do three months for $15 a month or we can do one month for 43 girl buy <laughs> like i'm just gonna do this six months it's like whatever at this point email address oh my god they probably have like my email address locked down they're like this girl's not gonna take this seriously don't let her join um yeah it says nice to see you again <laughs> no my ac shut off um I don't even know if you guys heard it, but I shut off. Okay, so it's asking for my name. Oh, they want that credit card. <laughs> and they want it now. My wallet, address, cell phone number. By checking this box, you acknowledge that you have read and you agree to the terms of service, blah, blah, blah. Upgrade so you can get face-to-face -face support with premium. Mm, I'm good for now. All right. Hi, Emerlyn. Welcome to WW. Let's take the first steps towards building healthier habits together. So now I have to answer like a bunch of questions. I am a female. My birthday is 12 27 1990. I'm not currently breastfeeding. I do not have diabetes. My height. I am five. I'm five two and a half but i always say five three just to round it up um my weight today <laughs> put that in um oh my goal weight should i do like my like overall goal weight or just like a mini goal Ugh, my goal weight always changes <laughs> like i don't know like I'm supposed to, for my height and my age and all of that, I'm supposed to be like 125 pounds, but girl, that just seems, <laughs> let's not and say we did. I'm just going to put 199 because um, I'm actually about to like head to bed because I'm actually really, really tired and Feline wants to sleep as well. So she's going to go to sleep on the couch. I'm going to go to sleep in my bed and yeah um i don't know folks i don't know folks um i am gonna download the app though really quick and then get all that started obviously i know you guys have seen me do weight watchers probably 500 million times and that's totes fine um i just feel like it's better to be doing something than nothing at all because i am um gaining weight i am and I will give you guys my way in like tomorrow or something. The app is literally just telling me everything I know. They're like, this is where you log your food and this is your points and this is your weekly points and this is your that. So I have 82 full day points and I have 28 weekly. Fun. I kind of want to try uploading like 15 days in a row. <laughs> Can I do that? Am I being crazy? I don't know. I kind of just want like to set myself like a little goal moment. And it's a sour cherry and um yeah i'm like at the high end of my uh highness i think <laughs> and i just wanted to check in with you guys and say that in the last like 45 minutes i have done nothing with my life i have edited um so that's good so i have the video edited and <clears throat> scheduled to go up since we're doing these um daily videos so that's good um i'm actually working on a wannabe lego that a subscriber got me it's gonna be like in a heart and there are all of these pieces that i am having to do to create this heart and it's been it's been different y'all it has taken some time it is like tedious work but 
I think that's why I like Legos. Like I like the aspect of like the instructions of it. Um, it's just coming together. The tediousness is just like calming when I'm listening to YouTube, which is like currently what I'm doing now. Um, I'm rambling. Oh, I'm rambling and I'm actually getting a little hungry. Um, I wanted to go back to like my healthier way of eating, like with all the veggies and the fruit and, but like, I, I, I'm making excuses in my brain and I'm telling myself, but it's Sunday, like you're totally fine to like order takeout. And it is Sunday, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know it's July 23rd, yes, it is Sunday currently love that being a youtuber sometimes you get your days all like mixed up and stuff i'm gonna turn on my lights it was the first christmas in this apartment when um we put these lights up and ever since then which it's been like three years i haven't taken them down because I personally love them. I just think they look so good in my living room. That's just me though. Yes, yeah, some of those leaves have fallen. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. It's because the pillow like pulled them down, that yellow. It's sad. Like I know this is an apartment. I can't live here forever. And I definitely need to move out of Kentucky because... I have people in my life that I want to be near and I feel like that's really important to me that I get to experience living near people who like unconditionally love me. Sorry, I <laughs> I don't know. I did not expect like to go down like a whole rant. I just wanted to say hi and that I've been lazy. <laughs> Because I am definitely, like, feeling good right now, which is a good thing. Like, I am using Delta as a way to, like, help me with my emotions. And I know, like, maybe a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, which is fine. I just feel like it's, like, THC, like, there's nothing wrong with it i have never thought that like i'm very against drugs <laughs> obviously i'm very against um that whole life like i barely want to take painkillers you know um but i have never disliked thc it helps people so much um whether it be like physically whether it be mentally um emotionally obviously you can like overdo it but <laughs> don't do that i just i see it helping me right now and i don't think that there's anything wrong with that and i don't think anyone should be judged for using thc in any form um where he's tail so yeah i don't know i just get afraid kind of because like i know everyone's opinions are like so different on like certain topics which is totally understandable because i have some wild opinions for sure <laughs> oh my god just thinking about me filming like maybe like an opinion video or something i don't know like i feel like my opinions align with um like i'm very like open book editing amberlyn here i meant to say open mind not open book like all that type of stuff but i have some like weird opinions like there's <laughs> i used to joke around about um flat earth i'm not a flat earther i know a lot of people think that but i'm telling you firsthand not a flat earther it's just a weird concept okay and you guys are lucky because my camera is literally about to die it's blinking so we don't want to lose this footage so i'm gonna stop talking here i could probably talk for another easy 30 minutes so i'm gonna go bother feline <laughs> bye hello so we're still in the same spot folks yes we are but i have been doing like a ton of journaling and i don't know if i've ever shared this before i don't know 
but on my MacBook, um, I actually go to the little notes section, which you also have that on the iPhone. And that is where I journal. That is where I do it. Also, her sleeping on the couch every night, she hasn't had an issue. I have mentioned to her, like, I will buy you like a mattress for the office or something, but she doesn't want like the office to be where she sleeps, but then also where she works because she works 12 hour days. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, she's just super hard working. So I was in the middle of doing this wannabe Lego when I ran out of red pieces. I don't know what to do because I still have this, but there's no more. <laughs> there's just yellow. Oh no. I mean, I'm still going to put all the yellow ones down, but that right there is bothering me. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So just like last night, we're doing it again. We're having some cool pops. So let's try them together. I forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> yes, I did. I forgot that I was vlogging today. So this one is like the tropical flavors. I figured we could try them. There's so many different ones. I really want to try pineapple. So that's the one we're going to do. How do you open this again? Have you guys ever heard that like, should I even say this out loud? <laughs> pineapple, it makes certain things sweet. Ignore me, please ignore me. Oh wow, it does not taste like pineapple, but it's good. I also want to do Summer Punch, which is the red guy. I hold on to this while I'm standing here like, you know when you're in the car and there's like that little holdy thingy majigger. I always hold on to that for some reason. Oh my god, whoever invented these, y'all won. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do wild berry. Why is it so light? On the box, it looks like a dark purple, but in real life, it's like barely any color at all. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I go through phases where my teeth is super sensitive, but right now we're doing good. You, like a lot, because I've just, I feel lonely. <laughs> um, that's just how I'm feeling right now. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you like a lot. Thank you a lot. <laughs> thank you so much. I am doing Weight Watchers, as you guys know. Today is day one of Weight Watchers. And that's a whole situation type deal. So is my eating gonna be perfect? No, but I need to do something. Like I said in my last video, it's better than doing nothing. I'm sure some of the things that I choose to eat today, people are gonna be like, how is this gonna help you lose weight? And da, 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 da. It's because I'm gonna be choosing smaller options and counting my points. I get 82 Weight Watcher points and 28 weekly, which is just like extra. And then I'm pretty sure you get more points. Like if you don't go over, there's like rollovers. I don't know. I mean, that's how it was in the past. Like you literally see my McDonald's from last night. <sighs> that's just like what I've been doing. <laughs> McDonald's almost every single day, let's be real. I've just absolutely been eating my feelings and I don't know, anyways, um, yeah. I'm just, like, disclaimer, my food today is not going to be good by no means. Like, people are going to watch and probably be like, ooh, yikes, like, oh my god, that's not good. Like, why are you eating that? Like, that's fine. Please just, like, think it. <laughs> like, you don't need to voice it out loud. I mean, it wouldn't really matter because I don't read the comments anyway because it's just, like, too much, especially with how I'm feeling right now, but... What I love about like the Weight Watcher app is, you know, there is this like section, it's the restaurant section where they have like every restaurant for the most part on there and all the points from there and like all that. So I think I'm gonna get um, Shake Shack and I've already looked at the points for it, but once it like gets here and such, I will show you guys what it is and how many points. 
Okay, so this is a Weight Watchers app and I kind of just want to show you like how they have all of these restaurants and they're alphabetical. But I am getting the good old Shake Shack and I already know exactly what I want. So I am getting the, which I will show you when it gets here by the way. I am getting the cheese fries. 26 points, that is crazy. Wow, so it's my first meal, so I'm just gonna add it to breakfast. And then, yeah, so you go to the list and then you go to the restaurant's restaurant name. I also got a diet, of course I did. <laughs> I've been back to drinking caffeine lately. That's a paper straw. Not my favorite thing in my mouth. And then, what? <laughs> it's this, there's like a popsicle stick in there, weird. Here are my cheese fries. Ooh, that's good. And then my plain Jane burger, but this is like literally the best way. So here on the screen, you can see 42 points for this meal. Hello. So it has been about four hours since I ate. And I decided to look in my fridge for some food and I realized we don't got much. <laughs> I do have some rotisserie chicken that Feline got yesterday. She surprised me with it. She had to go to Walmart and pick up some medicine for herself and she was like, I got you a rotisserie chicken because I love rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I do. I do. Ooh. Um, I don't know. I have like some pickles. I don't know. This is that moment where I'm tempted to eat out. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Let's look at my pantry. How is she doing? Is there anything? I mean, she's decent. We have some cans of stuff. Some Quaker chips some water <laughs> these are disgusting by the way these white and red quinoa blends like any pre-cooked rice is actually kind of gross and I'm starting to like hardcore come to terms with that uh, I don't know what I'm gonna eat but I will definitely show you guys so I got a place called Chewy's I did end up ordering food this is gonna probably be my last meal because let's uh get down to the points. So this is what I got. Um, it does come with chips. And based off of experience, I never eat their chips. Okay, we're back with full battery. Love that. I also love how they have one of my little thingies in here. They're like taquitos. Mmm. That's the best thing I've ate in a very long time. So for the refried beans, three points. For the Mexican rice, four points. But then for these, which is literally just five, six of these little guys, 40 points. This is just like a normal meal. Damn. So that brings this whole meal to 47 points. So I've used my full 82. And I also went into my weeklies by seven. So this might be the last thing I eat, but if it's not, then I'll definitely show you guys. And I haven't told you guys, but even through this whole mess of things, I still do a lot of intermittent fasting. So that's definitely something that I'm probably gonna take into this. Use those things um, and making more like healthier things, lower points. So like it definitely adds up. <laughs> one plus one does equal two in this situation. But, um, yeah, it has been a challenge. Um, I just wanted to give you guys that little update, though. Um, I just really don't want to eat any more into my weeklies and stuff. I know I have, like, zero-point foods that I can touch and stuff. But you also have to be realistic. Zero-point foods still have calories. So, yeah, um, I will, again, um, update you guys in a little bit. I do want to 
do like more what I ate today's on Weight Watchers. And I did order groceries today. So I did get some groceries. So tomorrow is not going to be an Uber Eats marathon. We're not going to choose that for both meals. I really don't want to choose it at all tomorrow. So as you can see, my fridge is a little more stocked because I did in fact buy some groceries. Right now I'm about to have me a diet Pepsi, caffeine free. Yes, yes. Y'all, I recommend these. They're the Hillshire uh, snacking thingies. Salami, cheese, some has crackers. This has chocolate covered almonds. They're so good. So depressingly enough, I wanted to give you guys an update on my packing. I still have only packed the one box of purses. Some people are asking why I packed my purses so soon. It's because normally I will use a purse for like a few months. So it works out good. And I also have some boxes made and ready to go. Peel box moment. I wanted to share this with you. I had a subscriber reach out to me and send me pictures of their work. They made this. Like, so she sent me a bunch of pictures and <laughs> I was like, I fell in love with this guy instantly. So she sent me this one and then surprised me with the octopus and then this cute little fella. It's like a little frog. I am like absolutely in love with these. Like, thank you so much. Like Darby, you're amazing. And if you guys are interested, go here. 